Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will talk about maybe the coolest graphics tablet. Have you ever considered having a graphics tablet with a physical keyboard? Yes, graphics tablet plus a keyboard and this is a brand new Huion key dial graphics tablet. Yes, wow, it looks cool, right? Let's get started. <laughs> This is Huion KD200 Inspro Key Dial Graphics Tablet. There's a keyboard on the left side and on the right side there's a drawing area and you have to hold it like that. You see guys, left hand is here and right side is drawing. So it's not suitable for left-handed people. This is about 160 US dollars on Amazon.com. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Um, Huion sent me this product for an exchange of my honest review. Without further ado, let's start with a quick unboxing. Then I will test the product and review it for you. KD200 comes in this fancy box. It looks super premium. Here is the tablet. It is really different as you can see. The left side is the partial keypad and the right side is a drawing area. It's about 9 times 6 inches. There are 28 keys and 5 of them, K1 to K5 at the top, are express keys. So you can assign some shortcuts there. And we have the on-off button on the top right corner. And the dial functions feature next to it. And this is the dial. We have LEDs guys between the buttons you can see. This is the USB-C port and here's the back side with four rubber feet. Looks cool right? This is the pen, battery free new generation Huion pen. It is really good, comfortable. There are two side buttons on the pen. And here's the pen holder, my favorite. I like the design. You can twist open it and there are 10 extra nips and a nip remover inside. Cool. This is the USB-C charging and connection cable. Uh, we have this USB receiver and a USB-C adapter for uh, the Android mode. We have the glove and the manual. Okay, it's time to test it. There's a really cool feature here, guys. You can use this tablet with a USB-C cable if you plug it here, of course. You can use it with this USB receiver if you want. Yep. And there is also a Bluetooth function, guys. Yes, the tablet has a Bluetooth and you can use this function to connect KD200 to your laptop wirelessly. No need to use the cable or the receiver. The keys on the tablet. Yes, all of them works. You can also use the keys with the control button or shift. You know, everything works here like a normal keyboard. We don't have all the letters, by the way. We have all the numbers, most of the signs, uh, the function keys. We also have a numlock key, guys. You can press it and reach number keys and signs here. Um, there is also an LED turns on when you when the, when the key is activated. There's one thing I want to share now. You cannot use the Huion software with the both function. Um, you need to use the USB cable or the receiver to make changes on the software. Uh, after you save the changes, you can go back to Bluetooth feature again and use the tablet wirelessly. So yeah, it's one thing to consider. Now I will test the tablet with PDF annotator. Um, it is the software most teachers use in their lectures and you can watch the review video of the software by clicking the eye icon on the right top corner. Keypad works here too, great. Now let's test the drawing area. Writing feels good. The drawing area is definitely a good one for teachers and students. Um, I like the pen and the friction on the surface guys, you feel here, it's a good one. Because some tablet surfaces are glossy, they're not comfortable for teachers, but this one is a good one. You can of course annotate on PDF files, as you can see here. Now, um, it's time to check the Android mode. I'm using this USB-C adapter guys with the USB cable and surprisingly, the tablet enables all the drawing area. This is not normal guys, because the tablet is wide, it is horizontal, but the phone screen is tall, like vertical, so they do not match naturally. Everything you draw on the tablet looks much, much thinner. For example, the rectangles look like squares, circles look like ellipses, right? Um, Huion needs to fix this. They need to adjust the drawing area. Um, if I find a solution, guys, I will share it with you in the comments or I will record another video about that later. Okay, Huion KD200 Inspro Key Dial Graphics Tablet. First of all, I really like the idea of having um, actual keyboard keys on the graphics tablet, guys, because I use a lot of um, shortcuts, you know, buttons on my lectures. Um, control A, Control Z, Control X, Control V, Delete button. Um, enter space so everything is here it is very useful for me 
Second pro is the tablet is wireless, but not like a most graphics tablet. This has a Bluetooth feature. It means you don't need to use this receiver, guys. Assume that you forget this one or you lost it, you can still use this graphics tablet without using the connection cable wirelessly with your computer. The tablet surface is great. I like it. I like the design too. The built-in quality is excellent. It is super sturdy, guys. And uh, it's very comfortable to put your left hand on a tablet, by the way. So yeah, I like it. Pen is great. I always like new generation Huion pens. And the pen holder is my all-time favorite pen holder. I tried a lot of graphics tablets, guys, but this is the best pen holder. Uh, I think that's the reason why Huion uses this pen holder for most of their models. And the last pro is having a USB-C connection. Okay, let's talk about the cons now. First problem is the design. Not for me, but if you are left-handed, you cannot use this beautiful device, guys. And I know like about 10% of world population is left-handed, so it's a lot of people. A lot of people cannot um, enjoy this graphics tablet. I think Huion needs to create another version of this, like KD200 left or something. Maybe, yeah. It will be better for left-handed artists and teachers. And the second problem is the Android mode. I think all graphics tablets have horizontal rectangle writing area. And the tablets with Android mode, guys, let you use only the left half of the tablet. Something like that. You see it's the, the ratio is very similar to the smartphone screen. Or you can use it like vertically. And also this ratio is also very, very, very close to your smartphone screen ratio. But the problem here is KD200 enables all the writing area and you can see in the video guys this doesn't work so the tablet is great for me but if you are left-handed or if you want to use this device for your android device i do not recommend you to buy kd200 until huyun fixes this problem okay i'm very close to youtube 10k club guys i just need a couple of subscribers and if you want to help me with that i would be grateful uh, if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like that i'll be with you in another video about online teaching if you have any questions anything to say just leave a comment below and let me know you can also find affiliate links in the description below so that's it for today keep watching mathematics goodbye